The project is called Glen Day Closes and uh, I've sited it here in the main station of Helsinki's, uh, in the Helsinki Central Station and um, well when I first came to Helsinki to do my research uh, for site visit to find a, a site for a project I was looking, I first of all went to Samalina Island and uh, went to this um, and I'd heard about this alleyway, this passageway, with this interesting acoustics that had this whispering gallery effect. And right enough, we went there and we, we played around in this uh, passageway. And, um, and, and then, then we discovered, or I discovered, that there were many places in Helsinki with these ar arched ways and ellipsoid ceilings as a kind of architectural motif I thought was interesting. So, um, and then when Paula, brought me to the train station. I thought, wow, amazing architecture. And went to the cafe, and I saw this um, painting by Jarla, Eero Jarla Feld. And, uh, and Paula told me that he inspired, this was a place, that, um, he was a friend of Sibelius, and um, and this was a place that Sibelius used to go for inspiration. So I thought that was interesting too. So I had all these things sort of going around in my head, um, whispering galleries and Sibelius. And, and I also knew that um, I discovered in my research that Finland had this uh, tradition of Tunela lullabies, very particular to Finland. And, um, and Tunela lullabies are lullabies which are like positive death wish lullabies where the, the mother is um, reassuring the child by saying if you if you die when you sleep then you will, you're returning home to Tanella and um, and it maybe isn't so bad you know because at that time it was there um, I mean it was very hard then and there was a high mortality rate so it was also comforting for the mother if in the event that her child did die, then you know she would be thinking that it was returning home and it was on this journey home. So, so I found that very interesting because I, you know, I'm interested in the emotive and the psychological effects of song and how they can be a trigger for memory. And uh, I know it's a part of the ethos of of um, the uh, Proarty Foundation's um, EMA project that um, it. It, it, it's seen by many people and it's accessible to the, the public and I thought Central Station, what more public place could you have? 200,000 people pass through every day. Although I, I mean I was aware that the acoustics of the Central Station were very very challenging but um, I thought also very interesting because it does have this ellipsoid ceiling and I thought if I could create this whispering gallery effect uh, in the station well, that was my aim. So, um, so to, again, to Sibelius, um, it brought me to this uh, Alexis Kiwi lullaby from Seven Brothers. And at the, at the end of the, the book, um, Ero's wife sings this lullaby song of my heart to her child. And Sibelius, he... Um, he put it to music and it became a well-known uh, lullaby. So what I've done is I've sung the lullaby, Song of My Heart, and recorded it and had it play out um, in the main station of this, uh, the, the main hall of the station. And so what I've, I've used these special type of speakers called hypersensitive speakers, and instead of having them project it outwards, I project them upwards just at the curve of the dome ceiling 
So what happens is the sound travels up and around the curve of the dome ceiling and lands at the opposite side of the space. So I've created a sort of space within a space. So even when the, 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 the train station is thronged with people, you still have this um, intimacy within this very public um, space. And it's interesting to see, to experience it at different times of the day, and especially at the close of day when, when, it's, when there's fewer people and um, you know the sound is, is, is clearer and, uh, and the people, the different types of people who occupy the space change throughout the day. And um, you know, and it's interesting to sort of observe the people as they're passing, you know, going from one home or another, and maybe not right away, they, they might they might not stop and listen, you know, they're just, but they might carry the sound with them home. Um, so it's, it just acts kind of subliminally at first. But hopefully, uh, if, you, if they're using the station every day, they'll, the, the, those, they might stop or are curious about the sound. And the sound does seem to emanate from the ceiling. So I think there's been a few uh, people wondering why people are staring up at this spot in the ceiling when there's nothing there. Um, so yeah, I hope you can all go and see it um, or experience it. It doesn't impose itself on anybody. It's very discreet and only if you really, really, really want to focus on it, then you do. But if you don't really, really want to, it changes your mood in a kind of subliminal way, right? That's right. But you don't even have to cut this out. <laughs> this is all for the recording. But given that it's not spontaneous, I can tell you this, that it's discreet work. It's a beautiful work because it's discreet and therefore, it's a very topical work because it reacts against the overload of visual and acoustic, how do you say, inamento, um, uh, pollution, pollution of sounds and images in the world. So there is a paradox because the artists were always making things in the world, but now the task is more how to withdraw almost from making things. And yet at the same time, make them beautiful things. So it's almost like lyric poetry, very, very little, like Emily Dickinson. Tosi yllättävä tälle rautatieasemalla, kun menee, niin on tottunut kuulee vaan sellaista hälyä ja nyt sitten niin kuin yllättyy, kun tulee tänne ja tuleekin tämä rauhallinen laulu. Ja Ei oikein tiedä, mistä toi ääni tulee. No, taide on koko ajan lähentymässä elämää ja sitä tuodaan koko ajan lähemmäksi tavallista ihmistä ja, ja on niin enemmän ihmisten tavoiteltavissa ja lähemmin pystyy päästä niin kuin kosketuksiin sen kautta. Kyllä mun mielestä se on hyvä, että se tuodaan sinne, missä ihmiset liikkuu. Kyllä, se on kiitet... taas ala, minä, niin... minä sanon tuota... kiitettävä, koska musta kaikki tämmöiset pyrkimykset on hienoja. Tässä on... Joo, 